Good morning, friends. I hope you're doing well this morning. Pastor Judith is still helping her parents, so I offered to come and chat with you again. My name is Miss Courtney. Today I'm in the church's library. Did you know the church had a library? There are so many fantastic things in here. There, of course, are a lot of Bibles, like this one that you might have at home, or there's another one like this one, and they're all for kids, just like you. There's an orange Bible and a red Bible, and they have different pictures and different drawings and big words and small words, so you can find a Bible that fits you just right. And you are welcome to check out this library book and take it home and try it out at home. Not only are there Bibles, there are other, some other great books, like this one is one of my favorites. Do you like pop-up books? Because look at that! You can learn all about scenes from the life of Jesus and it has different pop-ups throughout the book. You'll have to come and check it out. There's a book about big bedtime stories for kids that your parents can read to you. There's a book that have beautiful illustrations and there's stories. Look at those illustrations. So some of them have big words and some have small words. So again, you can find one that's just right for you. But let's get to our story for today. Today's story is from the Bible and it's about calming the storm. And it has Jesus in it. And today I brought a friend with me. You might recognize him from last week. His name is Brown, and he was so excited to come back and help me, weren't you, Brown? And today's story, Brown is going to play the role of Jesus. He's very excited. So today's story begins on the ocean. So this is our ocean right here, okay? And on the ocean, was a boat and it was a beautiful day and some friends were going to go out on their boat so they invited Jesus along. Here are the friends, they're nice and happy and it's a very nice time. They invited Jesus along, hold on, Brown's a little slow these days, and the boat was rocking so gently that Jesus took a little nap below the deck. So while the boat's rocking so gently, Jesus is napping. The friends are happy. But that's what happens. Suddenly, a storm starts, and the boat starts rocking a little bit more, and water starts coming, and big waves start coming. Oh my goodness! And guess what? The happy people became scared people. Oh no, what should we do? Our boat is rocking, and, and there's things flying, water flying over the top of the boat. What should we do? And they said, we should go wake up Jesus, who is still sleeping. Jesus, wake up. There's a storm. And Jesus comes up and looks around and spreads his arms out. And just like that, the waters calm down and it became a nice, easy, rocking boat again. And the people were happy again. And they said, wow, that's amazing. And Jesus said, you need to have faith when things are a little bit rocky to calm the storms. Now, what does that mean? When things are a little bit rocky, have you ever been scared or confused or just not sure what's going on and it makes you a little crazy? Has that ever happened to you, Brown? What do you do? Brown likes to pray. And that is something you can always do. If you're scared or unsure, of course, talk to a parent, get a hug from a friend, raise your hand and ask a question, or you can also pray to God and know that in your faith, he will help you calm. Right, Brown? I hope you enjoyed today's story, and I hope once the church is fully back open that you will come and check out some great books at the library with your parents. Have a great week. Brown's going to turn us off.